the wheels are turning in my brain. Misty, do you want to, do you want to keep, do you want to keep this, Misty? Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is, it's a haul via my dad. Now he did not want to be in this video. He's just, he just says he just wants to buy the stuff. He doesn't really, really care about being in the video. So we can all say hello to dad through the comments because he just didn't want to be in the videos today. So all of these things have been purchased by my dad from a local flea market and some yard sales. And he's just set them all down on this table. And I'm going to show you those things today. It might be a little bit of a longer haul. So just putting that out there now, because he, this is like two, maybe three weekends of his searching and I'm, I'm just now getting to showing them to you. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, he did pick up a couple pieces of pottery, ceramic, I don't know. And some of the things were kind of bundled together. So some of them came with some of the other things that he probably wouldn't have necessarily bought on their own. But this is one of those things. It's just a little Asian creamer. It is made in, I believe, Japan. I'm not quite sure. It's a little bit faded. But this little little creamer would look cute with, a, with an air plant in it. He did get this little demi toss cup. It's very, very delicate, very uh, thin porcelain. Uh, it just has another little Asian scene on it there. No marking on it at all. So he picked those two cups up. And then he picked up this whole set. And I don't know much about it. Again, you know, I like the kitschy and the kind of the quirky and the weird things. And these beautiful, you know, porcelain pieces I don't really know a whole heck of a lot about. But it is very pretty. It is very fall. You know, it has a lot of fall colors. They are made in Japan. And here is the teapot. Look, one thing I just now noticed, but look, doesn't those look like little faces? They are faces. So there's faces all on that. But I like the coloring on it. It does have some really pretty scroll, scroll work down there on the bottom and on the top. It does have the top, but it's an excellent, it does have the top. The top does have a little chip there on the inside rim. But other than that, the, the, the teapot itself is in really nice condition. And then we have a sugar and creamer set that go with it. Again, those same faces. Uh, this one has a little bit of wear on the gold paint around the sides, but no, no chips or cracks. Same with the sugar, covered sugar. Again, it has those face designs on it. Made in Japan, a little bit of fading on the gold paint. And then we have the, I believe this is a lemon plate. Uh, a, a little bit of wear right there on the paint, also made in Japan. But again, I think that these are very pretty for fall. It's very a very fall piece. And then we have five, no, three, yeah, five. Five of the cups and saucers that match. Very delicate, very thin, made in Japan. There is the plate with that same face design all the way around it, but five of these little demi -toss cups and saucers. So that is very pretty. It's very a lot to ship, but that's what dad got. Um, I also got it, well, he also, dad also got this really pretty redware uh, coffee pot or teapot. It ha it's hand painted with these sort of like tulips. I think that they're tulips. They look like tulips to me. Um, there aren't any chips or cracks on it at all. It does have like the little lip where you can kind of lock the lid in. It is made in, let's see, what does this say on the back? Royal Canadian, Royal Canadian Art Pottery, Royal Express, Hamilton, Hamilton, Canada. Oh, haven't seen that before. So this is a Canadian piece. It says four dollars, but I know my dad well enough to know that he did not pay four dollars. He didn't pay the price that's on really any of the stickers 
on any of these things. This says two dollars and fifty cents, but I don't know if he paid that, and I kind of hope that he didn't. And he didn't realize this when he bought it, but it is broken. It is an alabaster desk or a table lighter. Beautiful piece, but and I love all the veining and stuff. Well, let's look at this side, all the veining. But you can see it's been dropped. So along the top here, it has a crack, and also along the bottom there, it has a crack. So that's unfortunate. It's a really pretty piece. Uh, let's see. He did get some swans. This is a regal line made in the USA. Now, this is like an acrylic plastic swan. And then it's got a little baby, like a little nut cup. This one says it's made in China. But we'll just toss it in and we'll include it in with this big mama. But this one is made in the USA, regal line. You can see that on there. All right, he also picked up this really pretty lusterware wall pocket. It is made in Japan. So it's flat. You can see it's flat on one side. So you hang this on your wall and then put your floral arrangement on the inside. It's just a very, very neat Art Nouveau piece. So, and there's no chips or cracks on that. It does have like where there have been flowers kept on the inside, a little bit of water wear. And then he picked up this little piece of pottery. I think it says Kale's something. I don't know, but it's really pretty. I'll show you the bottom of it in just a minute. It's just a little pottery piece. I am not sure. Kale's Tacket. I'll have to look up, look this up and see if it's any anybody, but I think this says Toolsome on the bottom. Not quite sure. But, oh, I love that matte pottery feel. It's like a little bit of a southwestern style to it. He got a little blue bird of happiness, a little votive holder, a little candle holder. This one is marked Leo Ward 1994. You can see its signature right there. That's always an important thing to look at when you're looking up these little bluebirds. Some of them are marked and some of them aren't because I think some of them came as sets and only a few of them might be marked, but this one is marked. It does have the little votive holder with it. And he got the ever-present Stars and Bars Fairy Lamp in amber. So this one will be up for sale very soon in a live sale. I do have several of these amber ones, and they will be. I do have a Fairy Lamp in every live sale that I have, so this one will be there as well. Uh, he did get sent some blown or some kind of blown or fused art pieces. There's this, and it's kind of like a, I think it is a little bit of a cased glass, but it does have some natural air bubbles in them, not controlled bubbles. So it is hand blown. The pontel mark has been sanded down, but it's sort of a white and lime green swirl. Has an applied handle. I like the little design there on the handle. So he picked that up. And he also got this vase. It's also hand blown case glass. It's got green and yellow and white. The Pontel mark has been sanded down. I'm not quite sure the age on these, but they are glass. They're pretty. This one kind of reminds me of an iris. I don't know why, but it's just a tall. Uh, glass vase and he also picked up this little fish this little blown glass art i think that this is a fish shark i don't know it's a fish of some sort don't know what kind of fish but look at his little eyes he's a nice really pretty green glass i like the bubbles the air bubbles that are trapped inside him so he's pretty cute and he did get some of these little blown candies which these can do pretty well. There's a little, like a little peppermint. And this one. And that one. And I will sell these candies all together as one lot. And that one. And that one. So here's a little box full of glass candies. And the box itself that it is sitting in is not too shabby in and itself. It is an acrylic with gold paint over it. So it's a 
little jewelry box. You can kind of see the acrylic kind of gloss. So it's kind of a plasticky, uh, really nice hinged vase on or hinged jewelry box, not a vase, Misty. The inside has a little, it's a little velvet line. We like boxes around here. So that was one of the things that he picked up as well. And, oh, here's another piece of geisha wear. This is very delicate and very thin. There is no maker's mark on it. It has some moriage on it, but I, I, again, I don't know these things. Here is the plate. Really pretty scene. It is a very thin, delicate piece. Probably made in Japan, I would guess. But I do like the lanterns there on the front. So he got that. And then here is a fan. Now this fan has some fancy girls and there's a siren. We'll wait for it to pass. This has some fancy girls on it. And this is just, this is just one of those things that's still a little odd to me, but it's for a funeral home. This fan is yours, take it with you. Our service is guided by the golden rule, Jones Funeral Home. Heltonville, Indiana, which to me is a local piece, but it has the old phone number on it. And it's one of those fans that kind of folds in on, on itself, but this is just an odd thing to have as a funeral home, I think. It's just like a garden scene with these ladies in like antebellum style dresses. See, and there's the lady over here too. Just a little odd to me, especially to have in Indiana because it's palm trees, but anyway, it says it's Fabulous Cypress Gardens in Florida. But I like that old phone number and that it's a funeral home piece. So that kind of appealed, that has an appealing value to it as well. And then he did get this piece of artwork, which is beautiful. It, oh man, she's she's just beautiful. I'm, I'm kind of thinking, you know, the wheels are turning in my brain. Misty, do you want to, do you want to keep, do you want to keep this, Misty? Do you want to keep this, Misty? Or do you, should you sell it? I'm loving these ladies, these these like Victorian and and Art Deco esque ladies, and she is stunning. The, it, on the print, it says it's Ohio Art, uh, Brian Ohio. I can't make out. I want to say it's 1909. But isn't she beautiful? I'll try to get to where you can't see the glare. Look at her. Isn't she lovely with her flowers? And I don't think that you can see, you can see the Ohio art, but I want to say over here it's 1909, or I think it just says 09. It doesn't have the hanger on the back. It is in the original metal frame. This isn't wood, it's metal painted black. I'm probably going to sell her, but she's beautiful. We have some bottles. Some of these bottles are okay, but I think, I know that he got them for a good price. So, you know, there is that. But there is this one. This one says Palmer Toilet Water. Toilet Water. But the bottom of it's really weird. It's really bizarre. It has like all this extra glass here on the bottom. So I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but it is Palmer Toilet Water, which does that mean that it's cologne? That's a horrible thing to call cologne is toilet water, but whatever. And then this is a Chamberlain colic. Uh, oh, it's for colic and uh, cholera. Di oh, diarrhea retamine. Ooh, see, this is a diarrhea retamine. I like the laxative things, which is honestly a collection that I'm going to start to phase out. So if you want laxative tins, I'm your girl. I can hook you up. But this one is Chamberlain's, which they they all they had all kinds of snake oils and, and notions that Chamberlain's did. This one's just a little baby bottle. Look at the baby. Can you see the baby embossed on that bottle? Isn't that cute? This is like a fancy baby bottle. This is glass. Nowadays you don't give babies glass. And then this is just a little dairy milk bottle. This one I do not think is old at all because it has a little screw top lid. It does have a cowl on it, so it does have some decor value. 
And then this one is Melons Food Company, Boston, USA. It's just a little embossed bottle with a metal lid. It is hand blown. You can see the air imperfections in it. So those are the bottles that he got. He also got this cute little sifter. Now this is probably the cutest little sister. Now this is probably the cutest little sifter I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at this little baby. It is made, well, it just says patent number 1.753995. Made in the USA. It does have the little wooden green handle. This is adorable. You could do a little assemblage on here. That would be it's just so cute. He did get some owls. Owls are always a good thing to get. They're pretty popular. They are the owls. Here's the big daddy and the mama and the baby. And I will sell them as a set together. They're plastic. I want to say that they're made, they're home co. Yeah. This stuff is making a comeback though. Also some coloring books. Now, I don't know that I would have personally bought these because they have been colored in. At least I know some of them have. This is just one like from the college mall. So this is just one that they would give out when you would go and see Santa Claus. And then we have Count and Color. The graphics on this are amazing though. And it is made by Resource Publishers Incorporated. Oh, maybe this one hasn't been colored in. No, it hasn't been colored in. So this one's a good one. And then we have Walt Disney's Coloring Book. Now, this is Whitman. And y'all know I love me a good Whitman book. Uh, this is Walt Disney Productions, which does give it a little bit of age. This one has been colored in a lot. But there are still some pages that are not colored in. But the fact that it has been colored in, it does hurt the value a little bit. Uh, but yeah, Walt Disney's coloring book. And then we have The Waltons, also a Whitman. Do y'all remember The Waltons? Leave me a comment below if you remember The Waltons. And if you do, who was your, fa who was your favorite Walton character? Was it John Boy? This one has been colored in as well. Oh, look, there's Grandpa. And it says, I made this funny face toy for Elizabeth. Y'all remember Elizabeth? Can't you hear the theme music in your head right now? Dun, 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 dun. If you don't know the theme uh, music to the Waltons, go ahead and do a little Google search. It'll just brighten your day. All right, next we have Poochie. Who remembers Poochie? Raise your hand if you remember Poochie. I remember Poochie. Poochie was from the 80s. This is a coloring book of many mottos. Oh, look, this one, like some of the pages are colored in from the company. Pink is my favorite color. Oh, they're like, they're like little sayings. Friendship is golden. So this has not been colored in. It's just how the fact, well, no, that, this page and that page because Poochie is not purple. Some child colored Poochie's fur purple. But knowledge is power. Poochie! This is 1983, folks. Poochie. So we got those. And then he got, I'm just scanning the table. I've got, I think I've got half of it done. So we're about halfway through, kids. Let's move this camera a little bit over here. We're about halfway through. He got... Uh, some shakers. Now it's funny because he bought these shakers and I have them in lime green. So we've got the black outfits on these little Asian shakers. They are made in Japan. They This one doesn't have its stopper, but that one does. And then he got another set of little Asian children shakers. And these are little kissies. They're sitting on their little bench and they're kissy face. They're kissies. They are, they have plastic stoppers in them. They're not at, really old, old. They are vintage, but they're not super, they're not as old as their friends here. And then he got, he got a couple, yeah, two sets of squirrel shakers. I love these. Look at, they kind of look like they're praying. The little pottery squirrel salt and pepper shakers. No stoppers on them. And then these are fun. 
Now these say that they are a souvenir of Traverse City, Michigan. Look at this one. He's just like plopped down on the on the uh, on a on his stomach. And there's this one, Traverse City, Michigan. Now neither one of these have stoppers. They're just purely for looks. And then he got two little pink birds. Little two little. Well, they're kind of tan, I guess, but they're little chubbies. Aren't they cute? They're little nuggies. Little nuggy birds. Just just little nuggies. I changed the camera. You're probably like, why is the is the background changing? It's because the camera was way too close. Then you got these birds, and they are another souvenir piece, but it's something Ohio. I can't make out but it's something Ohio, but they're nice and colorful. And they're kind of like a resin, sort of a resin like these guys, these little teepees, which I think would be fun for Thanksgiving. These are dated 1947, MP 1947. They do both have their stoppers in them. And then he got these little irons, which I think are really nice because they have the, the little sunflowers or daisies on them. They don't have their stoppers on them, but a nice, cute, fun little salt and pepper set. You can see the S and the P on there. And then he got this little vintage Florida souvenir piece. And you push the buttons and that's what gets the the salt and pepper to shake out. So little Florida souvenir piece. I think those are all the salt and pepper shakers that he got. Uh, he did get a couple little pieces of jewelry. This is a sweet little uh, child's charm bracelet of there's a sailboat and a propeller and an anchor. Very nautical. Uh, here's a sailing bell and a lantern and the wheel so a small little child size bracelet and then he did get this brooch here i'm trying to see if there's a name on it anywhere i don't see one but sometimes you really have to look through a loop because the name is sometimes hiding but this brooch and then he got this little i don't know i think this is just like a keychain but it's kind of cute it's got these little miniature baby rattles and little baby shoes. He got a pen or a pencil. I don't know if this is a pen or a pencil. I think it's a pencil. It is from, it's the Booster Award for Cooperating with Farm Bureau Mutual Insurance, Indianapolis, Indiana. Now I do have a customer that does collect Farm Bureau things. So I will reach out to him and see if this is something that he's interested in. But some of these, these vintage pens and pencils can do pretty good. They do take a long time to research and a long time to list. That is the only bad thing that's about, that has to do with those. But, and then we have a comb. I can't quite make out what it says. This is an old comb. It's made, I want to say it might be Bakelite. Oh, if only Jeffrey was here to smell it for me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is Bakelite, but it's pretty faded. I just can't make out there's a there's a name on it of some sort but this has been left in the elements i think because it is pretty faded he also picked up a couple little trinket this is trinket dishes let me finish my thought there this says indiana state aflcio not quite sure what that is um, and then there is this one, it, which is the Lost Canyon from the Wisconsin Dells. Not a whole lot of resale value in those, but some people like them because they are a souvenir piece or a memorabilia piece from somewhere that they maybe would want one from. He got this bank, and I want, I don't know, He's normally pretty good about not buying a reproduction, but I kind of want to say that this is probably a reproduction. But I'm going to I'm going to bet that this is a reproduction. But it's a little bank, so you'd put your coin up there, and it would slide down into the elephant's body. But it's a nice cast piece. It is not vintage. I can tell because of the screw right there. This is pretty heavy too, but if you're an elephant collector, you might like that. And then he got this piece of fancy opalescent glass. And this reminds me of a stingray. 
let me show it to you. It has sort of like a goofus glass paint job here on the feet, but then it has like, it's like the Illuminati, um, the Illuminati, what did I call that? Stingray. It's the Illuminati Stingray. You can see its face, its eyes, its nose, and its mouth in the Illuminati um, triangle. So I've got that. It is, does have the gold paint there on the bottom, but it's a really nice, pretty opalescent piece, little pedestal piece. All right, and then we got some Amberina glass. Now this is true Amberina. It is not flash painted on there. So it's kind of an ombre. It goes from like an orange to a red to an orange to a red again. Um, <clears throat> don't know the pattern. I know that you guys probably do, and you can leave it in the comments. Because I do not know. This piece is fun. This is a hand-blown piece. It is orange glass, and it has silver flecks in it. So I've, you know, you see them a lot with gold but I've not seen the silver in them. This is beautiful. It has an applied handle. It is hand blown. The Pontel mark has not been sanded down. Um, it's a nice, cute little piece of, it's not crackle glass, but I love it. It has a silver flex of paint in it. He did pick this up too, and I don't, this is right up my alley. I like stuff like this. This is, it says it's Max Factor Golden Woods Sophistic Cat Perfume. The perfume is no longer in here, but this is how it was sold. So this is made by Max Factor. You can see there on that side too. And then it has a little domed, the perfume would go right here, but it's a little long necked cat. I can still smell the perfume and it does not smell that great, but look at that bejeweled cat. So neat piece of advertisement with this fun black cat in it. It would be great for a Halloween display. And the little cloche. The cloche is plastic, but I don't know. Well, you don't see that very often. It's pretty fun, I have to say. I do like that. Okay, and then he also got the squeaker. Squeaker alert. Squeaker alert. Okay, this is Walt Disney Productions, and it's Donald Duck. Walt Disney Productions. He's just standing so stately. Give him the thumbs up. So Donald Duck is, he is vintage, little squeaker. Some of this stuff we're seeing for the first time. So these are Schmid, Japan, and this one's broken. So I, I don't know. They are Schmid, but it's a, well, it's two mice. It's, it's, I don't, I, this one is a girl because she's got a skirt on. I'm, I'm assuming that's a girl and she's got, I don't know if it's a prescription in her hands and she's got her bag. And then this looks like a doctor mouse, but he had something in his hand that, but it's broken. So I'm not quite sure the top of it's broken. So he has like a beaker. So he's like a scientist. Is she a scientist too? I don't know. I'm confused, but he does have a little broken piece on him. And then these are really fun. So this is new old stock. Here's the box that it came in. But it is all of these pearl necklaces, like children's, I guess five and dime would be the best way to describe it. Now they're all the same and they all come in these little heart boxes. But these are old. I don't know if these are real pearls. I'm going to I'm going to venture to guess that they're not, but you can see the old clasp and the pearls. New old stock, but I don't know. I think that the strings on these pearls are pretty um rotted. But still a neat find to have all of them you know in the box like that just kind of a neat thing to see. Okay, I showed you those, and then he got this. Now this is horrible because it has a clown on it, and it's not old, it's a replica of a 1916 design, but it's Zuzu Ginger Snacks, and I do not like clowns. I do not like that clown. He has a horrible face, but if you like clowns, this is a nice reproduction tin of Zuzu Ginger Snaps. So it does look good in a, in a display if you like. Clowns, that is. 
Okay, I'm gonna move my camera over just a little bit more. Okay, so now we're in a different view because I'm all everything's on this table and I'm and I'm I'm having a hard time reaching it, it all. All right, so now we're moving on to the next little section. Now he did get a cat planter. Here we are. It's not doesn't have any marks on it, but it's a little key cat planter in great condition. So there's that white cat planter. He did get a pie bird. Now this isn't terribly vintage. It's made by Roman Incorporated. It is a pie, per, a pie bird in its original box. I used to collect these. I had them all up on a shelf, but that was a collection that I moved on from. Okay, and then he got a little figurine. I do believe this is a home co piece. It's just a little girl with a little rag doll. She's waving, hello. Hi, look at my eyelashes and look at my baby. I do believe that that is Home Co. Probably from the 80s. This is adorable. He got this adorable little bunny planter. Look at how cute. It's got beautiful crazing all throughout it. I love the crazing, but no, no markings, no chips or cracks on anywhere. It's in excellent condition, so it's pretty cute. A little, like a little nursery planter. And then he got this. Now this was, I don't know if this, these came in a kit. I don't know. We have another siren. But you would think I lived in the big city with all the sirens that have been going by today. But it's this little doll. And I don't know if these, may, these were made in a kit, but she's got her little parasol. So she's made with um, safety pins and beads and a little doll head. Probably from the 60s, I'm going to say. So let me know. Did you ever make a little kit like that? I think that they came in a kit. I'm pretty sure. And, oh, I just tried to lift up this figurine. I just pulled its head off, but it's supposed to come off. This I have to do a little bit of research on. I tried lifting it up, and I just pulled the whole head off. But it is a little trinket dish, which is bizarre. Let me take the head off of this, and let me hide my jewelry. In, in here it has a marking right there with a copyright but the bottom of this it's made in England by SIAB the the original price tag on it I think is what dad saw and thought well maybe that this is something but originally it was forty one dollars and ninety five cents but it's like a resin almost like a Boyd's bear so I'm gonna do I'm gonna look it up and see if it's worth anything and maybe it will go on eBay but it's just very odd you take up the whole bear's shoulders and everything so he did pick up that and he also got three little trinket dishes like little you know you'd put your little trinkets in there so there's this little teapot one no markings on it and then this little basket one and I know that these can be collectible I just don't know much about them this little little basket one there with the flowers on top and then this other little teapot with a hummingbird still no markings or anything on them but so I'm not quite sure about those not don't know what to expect with those and then he got this is a big honking piece of thing to ship but it's like a handkerchief glass I don't think that this is terribly vintage I I believe it's more of a modern piece. It, has a, it is hand-blown. It has a Pontel mark that's been nicely uh, polished. Like a, It's like a modern-day handkerchief glass. So there's that. It would look pretty with a candle in it, but it's quite, quite heavy. And then he got this little girl. I'm not quite sure about her either, but she's cute. Just a little girl laying down on a pillow. We have a a porcelain soap dispenser not a soap dispenser a soap holder so you would mount this to your wall so it's a little piece of like a salvage piece from a house and i'm just trying to look he has this nice flower frog this is a nice domed one so if you display your marbles and and such on these flower frogs these are the ones that are pretty desirable for a marble collector because I'm going to use this little dice, but you know, you could put your marble in there and show off your collection. This dice is actually going home with me to go in my 
gumball machine that I have, a little dice, and he always picks them up for me when he sees them. So the domed flower frog, glass flower frog, and then he got this little light. This is just puzzling to me. It's a little girl. I need to see if she works, but she's praying. She's, she's plastic, but she's a lamp. It's just bizarre to go to all this work to make a little, and I wouldn't think that that would be real safe, but if she's got a soulless child next to her with those soulless eyes, but I'll plug her in and see if she works, but that just seems like a lot of work to go through. Make a little plastic mold for a lamp. I'm not seeing any maker's mark on it anywhere, but we'll plug her in and see if she works. I don't know. There isn't, like, you can't replace the light bulb. There's no nowhere to replace the light bulb. So that's, that's a little bizarre to me. Then we have, I'm trying to look, just make sure I didn't forget anything. This little bird, a little green bird. He's so happy. He is made in Japan. He's just looking over his wing. Look at, there's my wing. It's so magical. Hello, wing. But it's in great condition. So that little, that little guy. And then he got some dogs. Here's a little marble dog. Kind of looks like a little weenie dog to me. It's just got a long body. It's a little marble weenie dog. And then we've got, I love these. These are, now, the thing with these is that they, whenever you want them to, to look a certain way, they don't. They're very stubborn. It is a bobber head dog. But you can see his head just spins all the way around. Woo, isn't that fun? He's like the Linda Blair of dogs. But these are early bobbleheads, and they never look the way that you want them to. But he's got lovely crazing on him. He's in great condition. It is marked, uh, it is California pottery. Something California on the bottom. So, got the little dog that's going to have a backwards head most of the time, but... He's just nodding at you. And then we have a mama bear. She looks so tired. She's so tired. And she looks very troubled. And here are her babies. So they're a chain gang. This one is made by Norlins, Japan. So there's the mama and here are her babies. Now they're no longer chained. But the chain, one of the chains are still there. So they're the little mischievous babies. I'm going to set them back down to next to you, Mama. And then we have two planters. These are the last two. No, wait. Well, before we do that. And then we have a swan. I, I want to say it's a swan. I don't know what this is. So I don't know if it's just a, you just hang it on the wall. It is ceramic. It does have crazing on it you can see the crazing on the wing here but then you hang it up by on this side and so you can hang it on your wall i don't know i don't quite know what this is but dad bought this it is ceramic you can hang it up on your wall it does have a flat bottom so you could set it up too if you wanted to do that and then he got a little dog planter i think these are like springer spaniels but there's this dog looking this way and then um another dog looking the other way and it kind of looks like this one's sitting on top of that one so that's a little odd it's like i am the king of this dog and i'm going to sit on this dog this dog is like yeah he is no markings on it but it's in great condition and then my two favorite things that he got are these little planters here we've got a little gnome planter his little wheelbarrow is his planter he's got lovely crazing throughout i love this guy so cute and then we have a little hillbilly planter i love him a hillbilly or leprechaun i don't quite know honestly because he kind of looks like he is he holding an, an egg is it a mushroom so he kind of looks like a hillbilly he kind of looks like a leprechaun but why if he's a hillbilly why is he holding an egg I can understand if he's holding a mushroom, kind of, but he has this barrel. I don't know, but it's fun. 
Look at him. I don't know. This was one of my favorite things that he got. I don't know. It's just a different. I think that's why I liked it. Because it's not just your average, everyday dog. It's a hillbilly. And that's fun. But the cream of the crop, the cream of the crop, and I almost forgot to show it to you, is this guy. And that is the Treasure Craft Tiki God Ashtray. It is Treasure Craft. It is 1960. It is number 131. These Tiki Treasure Craft Tiki pieces are really pretty popular. This guy, Dad paid a dollar for it. And it sells for in between $65 and $70 on eBay. So this guy is going to get listed on eBay very, very soon. I'm hoping that he'll be listed by the time that this video goes up. Maybe he's already sold by now. I don't know, but we will see. But he is going on eBay and he's in great condition. So this was the find of the day. So good job, Dad finding the tiki god he he's learning about these new trends you know he's very old school he he you know picks up pieces that were selling you know back in his heyday and these new creations and these new uh fads and stuff that are coming up he's learning about so he's doing good good job dad all right guys thank you so much for joining in on this quite long video i wanted to get it all done because some of these things i'm going to put in my live sale this week if you are interested in any of the things, if it hasn't sold yet, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and we can talk about details, and uh, we'll see if, if uh, you can purchase something from this video. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.